In the spring of 1912, RMS Titanic slipped beneath the ocean waves. Her disappearance is riddled with rumor and speculation. The truth has never been completely known. What exactly happened on that terrible night to cause the death of 1,523 men, women, and children? Titanic took many secrets to her final resting place. Now, an unprecedented scientific expedition pieces together Titanic's final hours. Clue by clue, evidence is being gathered. Piece by piece, a story is beginning to unfold. New discoveries are shattering age-old myths. Science is taking us back in time to witness the sinking of the unsinkable Titanic. The French research vessel Nadir is en route to an historic spot some 400 miles off the coast of North America. Her crew is plotting a course to one of the most notorious points in the North Atlantic. The site of the Titanic disaster. The Nadir is joined by another French vessel Ocean Voyager. On board, an elite team of scientists and engineers, each exploring a phase of the Titanic disaster. Paul Mathias is a leader in underwater imaging technology. He will try to discover the iceberg damage that doomed Titanic. Naval architect Bill Garski believes clues to the disaster can be found in Titanic steel. Did Titanic steel shatter like glass during the sinking? David Livingstone works for the company that actually built Titanic. He wants to know why she sank so quickly and why she broke in two. Roy Collimar is the team biologist. He wonders if a community of deep sea organisms is sealing Titanic's ultimate fate. So, Charles Haas and Jack Eaton are Titanic historians. They'll provide historical context to this investigation. Together, this team will show why a brush with an iceberg proved fatal to a ship built to endure such hazards. A simple buoy and flag mark one boundary of the wreck site. It was in these very waters that the Titanic drama began some 85 years ago. Exploring the Titanic has been likened to conducting a technological orchestra with engineers, divers, and scientists. Great care is taken to prepare gear for the first dive.
On the bridge of the Nadir, the captain guides the ship over the wreck site. Directly below lie the remains of the greatest sunken ship of all time. The Titanic tragedy is among the most infamous maritime disasters in history. On her maiden voyage to New York City, she endured a series of events which saw her demise. Glancing blow with an iceberg led to catastrophe. Today, Titanic lies buried in more than 12,000 feet of water. Her bow and stern are separated by nearly a half a mile. The forces that caused this destruction must have been awesome, but the facts of that night have remained elusive, mysterious. The, the Titanic is the subject of a great many myths and a great many uh, bits of misinformation. That's why I think this expedition is so significant, because science is giving us the tool to eliminate some of this misinformation and tell what really did happen that night. Paul Mathias is the first to explore the wreck site. His underwater imaging technology is being loaded onto a state-of-the-art submersible, Natil. This yellow submarine is one of a handful in the world that can take humans down 12,000 feet to the site of Titanic. Matthias will try to uncover the iceberg damage. Legend has it that the iceberg tore a gaping wound into Titanic's side. But nobody knows for sure. After the Titanic hit the iceberg, there was enough damage to sink her. Uh, exactly what damage occurred to the hull is not known with certainty. The reason is a major part of the front of the bow of the boat is, is under the mud. And it's been a mystery for 80 years. Today we're gonna try to solve that by looking beneath the mud using a seismic profiler, much like a physician might use an ultrasound. Like a medical ultrasound, this sonar will create images by sending and receiving acoustic signals. Matthias hopes his signal will penetrate the mud, enabling him to see the wound in titanic side. Revealing this damage is the first step in reconstructing the disaster. Natil's robotic arms will be used to position the sonar near the mud that hides the damage. Inside the tight confines of Natil, there's room for three divers and a deep sea lab. This is the first time this kind of approach has been used to image a hole that's buried beneath the mud. I think this is overall going to give us a lot more information about the Titanic than we've ever had before. The investigation of Titanic is extremely dangerous. More than 5,000 pounds of pressure every square inch will be exerted on the shell of Natil. 